So girls, for transparent material, they allow almost all light to pass through. But when you come to translucent, it, it, you know, the light rays are scattered. You know the meaning of scattered? Like example, when I take a torchlight and I put on a translucent paper, the light on the next side is, you can see those rays of light. But in a transparent plastic sheet, you can never see the light being scattered. You will see that directly the light is passing through. The thin cloth of a tent allows some light to pass through it. This is a translucent material. The thin cloth scatters the rays of light coming through it, so you are not able to see clearly what's on the other side of the cloth. Have you ever wanted to sleep in on a Saturday morning, but light was coming in through your window? What could you do? Well, you could pull down an opaque blackout shade. Opaque material does not let any light through it. You see transparent, translucent, and opaque objects every day. Click the highlighted areas to discover more about these kinds of objects. These safety goggles are transparent. Transparent objects are clear. Items that are transparent allow most light to pass through them. This window is transparent. It allows light to pass through it without the light being scattered. Colored liquid, a curtain, or frosted glass is translucent. Translucent objects scatter light waves. This table is opaque, which means light cannot pass through it. Most objects we encounter are opaque. Opaque objects block light. A spoon, a desk, and a wall are all opaque. Opaque objects will cast a shadow. It will either scatter light or it, the light will not pass through. It will cast shadows. Look at these objects. They can be classified by how they interact with light waves. Drag each image to the correct box to indicate whether the object is transparent, translucent, or opaque. Okay, so try girls. I remember you all used to come to the board and do this by your own after I have explained, so now today I will do it for you all. Okay, aluminium foil, of course it's opaque. And then a frosted window, translucent, a wood is opaque. Here, thin paper, umbrellas, it has to be translucent, yes. And then fabric, yeah, translucent. Uh, rock is opaque. Glass doors are transparent and drinking glass. Transparent. Great job. Great job. You and sorted the objects by the way they interact with light. Translucent objects let light through but scatter the light. Transparent objects let light through them without scattering. Opaque objects don't let light pass through them. Now let's learn more about other properties of light. Have you ever wondered why you see your image in a mirror? You see your image because of a property of light called reflection. Reflection is light bouncing back when light rays hit an object. Click the dots on the timeline to learn. So guys, we studied about opaque, transparent, translucent. Now we'll study about what is reflection and refraction. Simple girls, put a torch light on the wall, the light bounces back and that's called as reflection. Take a bucket of water and put a Put the torchlight at the water, the, the, you know, the light, it goes in different direction. That is refraction. It passes through. It doesn't come back. It doesn't bounces back. And this is what they will explain you in a different manner. Learn more about reflection as a property of light. Why are you able to see the mountain reflected in the nearby calm lake? Rays of sunlight hit the mountain and are reflected off the mountain. The light that is reflected off the mountain hits the water in the lake. The light from the mountain is reflected off the calm lake surface, allowing us to see the mountain's reflection in the water. Did you know that we can see color because of light? Click the pictures to learn how light allows us to see color.